Hey, welcome back. We have a pen here. This is in from Otmog. Is this the best way to open this package? Uh, let's see. Maybe this way. I love using my knife, but sometimes it's not the right tool for the job. Guess maybe this time it was. Um, so I had done a write-up on Reddit about, uh, the recent hot mug I had gotten. Cool. Brian and Vancouver here. That's everything that's in there. And, uh, he liked the review. He sent this in. Felt like it could be even better than the last one. So here's my other one that he sent. Boom, right here. This one was, this one was um, uh, an Energel, Pentel Energel. And it was good. In the review, I mentioned that I felt like it wasn't super smooth here. It's pretty good though. It's not like, like I put that it was a little gritty and that's compared to some like billet spin and stuff. Um, but overall it feels very good. Like, that would not be a reason to not buy this. Um, but he felt like he could do better, so he sent this one in here. <clears throat> like how he sends the refill, that's really nice, too. Nothing else here. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what we think. So this one, I believe, was from a different drop. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a different... Oh, interesting. It's a little smaller. So I don't know if this one is the, oh, it must be, it's the Schmidt, okay. Because he had done a Pilot G2 also, which I think I also have coming in. I think I bought the Pilot G2, but he also sent this one in. Ooh, that's pretty nice. I think, oh, it's the same. Um, but mine was the, uh, what do you call it? The sort of simple or minimalist. And this Parker one has these nice little uh, turn lines on it, so... I like the size. And overall it is like smooth, but there is like a little grind there, right? In fact, I'd say this one even has a little less of that. Although this one's harder to actuate. I kind of like the spring pressure of this one more. Anyway, he also said he felt like the G2 is particularly good. So I'm looking forward to that arriving when it does. It should be here in a day or two. That one has like a nice ting to it. It's not every time. I don't know how to make it happen, but sometimes it gets like a little ting on it. I don't know how to reproduce it. That was it. I don't know if it'll end up showing up on the camera or not, but. That's cool. This feels really good though. I really like this size. And since you don't have the pocket clip and this 36, I, I don't know if that's 0.36 inches or is it, what is it here? Let me take a look. Ba, 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 ba. 0.36, 9.11 millimeter diameter is just so nice. That's what both of these are. These are really cool. So um, brass mechanism on this one. Yeah, these are both brass. And then the one I have coming is too. So I kind of got this whole brass series that he did. He did a series of brass ones. The uh, Smooth Energel. Oh, I'm sorry. Smooth Energel. Smooth, but has this really nice little sort of sings when you run your fingers up it. I really like that. This has that too. This is the Parker style or Parker sized. Man, that is nice right there. That is a great size. I'll put that up against the full size smooth precision pens. And like, if, I, if let me see if I can grab a mini really quickly. I think I have one right here. Yeah, there's an SPP mini. This is like this size. Let me do it this way. Smooth Precision Pens Mini, but, but that's kind of a 
if you look at these four here in terms of size if you know these pens that'll help you size it up what's a more popular pen that i have i have a tactile turn in here that just about everyone has a tactile turn or maybe had one at some point let me put that out here as well this is a full size so this will probably be the biggest of the bunch there all right so definitely liking what i'm seeing right now from otmog super minimalist like if your thing is having like a a bolt or something like that that is not what we have here um, i love the the smooth precision pens bolt very fidgety and these are fidgety but just in a different way because it's not like like you have to like move your finger from one place to another to do it but it is fidgety still because of that so yeah these two nose cones are pretty different here this one's i guess you call it like a round nose and this one's a cone nose so this one has a rounded edge coming in whereas that one's more that conal nose on there Yeah, the, the work he does here is just spectacular. I actually have one of these in, a, uh, in an Anno that's really nice, too. I don't know if I did a video on that, actually. Let me see if I did. I don't think I did. So let me just pull that guy out because it's pretty spectacular. So it'd be good to feature it on one of the videos since it wasn't in the others. There we go. So this is actually the same build, more or less, than this, but it was like a titanium variant. It's a little shorter, you can see. It's pretty sweet. And this one's maybe my easiest to actuate. That one's just really nice. I'll zoom back out here and I'll drive you crazy. Eh, they're right there. So the Otmog, collect Otmog collection is growing. We now have three with a fourth coming in. So it's getting it's getting serious, folks. It's turning into a serious relationship. Um, but I really just like what he's doing. It's they're really inexpensive compared to a lot of other titanium pens made in North America. They're made in Canada. Um, so they're these here arranged. You know, if you get one all tie without the brass mechanism, but a tie mechanism instead, they're like ninety three dollars, um, eighty five dollars. I'm looking back on his website. If you go get like a pocket clip and stuff, you're looking more like one twenty five, one thirty. But maybe that's not cheap, you know, you could certainly spend less, but to be in the 90 to $105 range for this quality and yeah, this feel, I feel like it's really good. I'm excited to have this one. This one, this size on this one's very nice. Like I'm thinking for my backpack, this would be hard to beat. I wonder what the weight is. Sometimes the fills, well, you know, like this fill weighs so much more than a Pilot G2 fill. So you'll sometimes have these smaller pens that you save a few grams on the titanium, but you pick up more than you do on the, you know, they're almost the same weight because you pick up almost as much on the fill on the inside. So this guy's 0.83 grams. This one, I think, is a Pilot G2. So he's super light, 0.73. And then this guy, 0.83 again, right? This is the smallest one. Now, slightly different build and stuff, so it's hard to say, you know. But that Pilot G2 fill is just, which is what this one is, is very light. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's a great weight class, I feel like. You know, there are lighter pens out there, but these all kind of weigh in that same weight range here. And I am a, a big fan of this minimalist. You know, not too much stuff. Like this This even is as much as I can kind of handle having a pocket clip and a bolt. The billet spin is, um, to me, just a nice little, like that's about as much stuff as I can do on a pen, personally. I just want less things bumping into my hands and touching my hands while I'm using them. That's kind of my take, so. Yeah, I want to thank Brian from Hotmog for sending this in. Um, like I said, and I put this in my messages to him, I don't want to exaggerate, but you can hear it a little bit, right? It's not really gritty. It's it's 
It's just not silent. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Like unless I'm t unless I'm scraping it against the sides on this one. I guess there's some sound there. Anyway, maybe I'm just uh, way too picky. That's all for now. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and didn't think I was a complete nut. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.